Okay, welcome back everybody. It's the Game Master, and this is my Let's Play for Dungeon Mans. Uh, I had a little problem with my headset, and uh, I haven't checked it yet, but we may have to ditch the last video, so I may not have no audio. I had, uh, I realized that when I got ready to do the video, uh, uh, the preview, when I got ready to do another video, I realized that my audio wasn't working and my headset apparently had ran out of charge, I think, which is weird because I just pulled it off the charger, so I don't know why it wasn't charged. But uh, it's working now. So uh, what happened was I went and played a little bit off camera while I was waiting for my uh, headphones to charge. And what ended up happening I was playing the character with uh, the fighter character with two weapons and I ended up dying. Um, got killed while I had a shield up. I don't understand that, but it happened. So I decided that uh, the, probably the best thing to do is to go with the magic user until I can get. Um, two of those things that make your weapon a powerful weapon, like a like an artifact weapon. You get like an item, it's a random drop. You get like an item and you use it on whatever weapon that you want to use it on. And it makes it an artifact weapon. Um, so obviously you want to like power up that weapon as powerful as you can make it before you actually like artifact it. But if we get one, <coughs> if we get one here shortly, we probably won't. But if we get one here, I'll probably go ahead and use it on the weapon that I've got. Uh, but uh, eventually, you get like more than you need. You get like a bunch of them because uh, they're random, so they keep dropping. Um, once we've got two of them. Then we can make and we can make like uh, two max weapons. Then we'll try uh, uh, fighter with two weapons. But right now, I think magic user is going to be the best bet damage wise because we can get uh, the bonus from our armor. Uh, right now, I started over with magic user. And I've got uh, a cosmic, hyperborean, venomous, luminous, burninating, blazing, bone fist cane. It does a lot, a lot of stuff. Uh, so I've got it like maxed out enchantments, and I've got it hammered with the uh, uh, with a cold enchantment on top of that. And it's dread forward, dread crafted. I want to say dread forward, but it's dread crafted. It's dread crafted, so uh, I've got the enchantment on all my gear to buff up my damage. Um, so we should be good to go. Um, we don't have any more radiant shards. So I can't do my rings, but we're getting close to the point where we can start getting radiant shards. Um, let's see here. Let's see what we've got left in this light uh, hub here. Okay, we got one more dungeon. Okay. Go ahead and hit this one.
that was one of the things I had a problem with when I was doing the character with two weapons was keeping enough stamina for my shield. It's weird because I never have a problem with that. magic user and it, it might be because I was having to use more shield as a uh, as a fighter because I was taking like damage uh, for fighting stuff up close so maybe, maybe that was it I don't know Once we get uh, two artifact weapons, it won't be an issue. We're gonna be killing everything with one here. And that's uh, that's really the key to to, to having like a good pl a good player is get is being able to kill the monsters quickly. Yeah. If it takes two hits to kill a monster, that gives him a chance to like damage you uh, with a hit. Because you do one hit to him, he does one hit to you, then you do another hit and kill him. So, that seems to be the problem that I've run into when I like to kill. As I get into an area where I have to lock do uh, more than one hit to monsters, and the monsters end up like uh, ripping up on me.
Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's okay. I'll go back up and get that chest. That's not going away. Okay.
go back to the academy here. Somebody in there. I don't remember who died there, but one of the guys died there. Apparently. I'm worried that it's going to be yellow by the time I get done. So it may not be a problem. 
Almost kills. Not Maybe if I go up a level, I might be able to. Possibility. Let's see. I'm really close.
course, purple guys are resistant to my weapon. They're, uh, they're drug crafting themselves. Now, most of the time, the drug crafting enemies aren't resistant. Having the melee. That was a little tough. Um, hmm. I'm debating whether I should go down or if I should lie. Try another dungeon. Trap now. If it gets any tougher, we'll have to fail. Oh, 
action one. Looks like the short form is working pretty good, so I might be able to keep a I took damage there and I had a shield up. How did that happen? Let's see here. Exodus. Doesn't show his attack on me. Let's see. Damage is resisted by Indigo Princess. His access to zero melee damage absorbed 32. The SB hits a block of ice with 35 melee damage. The SB buzzes with menace. Block of ice dies. Indigo Prince's defensive shield is shattered.
don't see how they keep getting me with my shield down. I mean, it's down for like one second. And I hit.
quit shooting at me. I my open door, there's like 50 monsters there.
Oh god. Another layer of what's gonna be yellow. No, it's white. <laughs> Ooh, bracers of bouncing foam bolts. That is a uh, legendary. And I think it's very good. Yeats, uh, the bolt of foam now bounces to a second nearby target. And that gives me 79 spell power, which is a lot better than my lot 16 from my lot bracers. So yeah, we'll strap that on. I wonder if that applies to my shard too. Oh man, how did I take that much damage? Let's put on a health potion. Work out of, of that bouncing foam bolts. Chamber made it. It was a little tight. Went to the red a couple times.
good to have a map. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, we got one of Forge's uh, things. Okay, Forge was our two hand, uh, two hand uh, weapon uh, or two two weapon guy. Not two hand, two uh, two two separate weapons. We got one of his weapons. Stats increased by two. Oh, we got a new, uh, it's frostbound mode. Okay, so blood focus will be our next weapon. Uh, we just need to get one of these crafted. Pretty good progress. We're almost ready to start doing the special type dungeons, like tires and like uh, castles and graveyards and things like that. Uh, 
level 10. So yeah, I think I think we'll be good as we can find as long as we can find them that are within our level. Not too high level. Okay, so thank you everybody for tuning in and see you next time.